<clears throat> How's it going, YouTube? Just wanted to do a unboxing video of the Drew Estate Cuba Art Water Tower. So this particular water tower uh, is the Vers edition. Should have the um, picture of the bridge uh, smoking a cigar. So down here on the back of the box gives you an idea of uh, what to expect. So this is exactly what I ordered. Ordered this particular uh, humidor slash collectible item from Cigar International. And it was a pre-order, so it took a little while. And I definitely was uh, getting antsy because, you know, I'm seeing everybody else put videos online and they already got theirs and mine hadn't come in yet. And I'm, you know, I'm feeling kind of left out and just got home from work today. Stopped at my local uh, smoke shop. And picked up a couple of items. Show you what I got here. Excuse me for a second. I'm not a professional YouTuber, so I don't have uh, like a stand and everything. I'm shooting this with my phone in my hand. Picked up uh, this Gurkha coffee cafe tieback, it's called. So I had the Gurkha uh white rascal and that thing that tastes really great his uh brother of the leaf looking forward to that that's more of the traditional uh smoke type flavor and got this bad boy right here this is my very first uh flying pig so undercrown sun grown so picked up those today from the local shop and like i said got home and here it was, you know, the water tower has arrived. So let's get to the unboxing. So it comes in a, you know, typical cardboard box with a matte black finish and shiny metallic um, logos and so forth. And there's the tower right there. It's got like some shrink wrap on there. So let's go ahead and get that out. And there's another box inside the box, which I'm assuming is going to be the legs. So I've talked to a few people that have already gotten theirs, and they told me that you got to assemble it a little bit. So let's sit that right there in the background of the video. You can kind of see the tower there inside the shrink wrap. And... If you notice, the uh, logo on the box is metallic, so it's picking up those colors, you know, that are on the actual humidor, you know, water tower itself. So, pretty cool. Cigar Internationals, a little shout out to them. Pretty good price and good shipping, fair people. They sent that little uh, catalog trying to entice me to buy some additional product. And let's get to this box right here. So, this box, I'm assuming... It's going to be the legs. All right. So we pull those out. That's exactly what it is. I'm not sure about the difficulty of assembly just yet because I haven't actually put one together on my own. Oh, great. So it's not four pieces. It's all one piece. And looks like you might have to do a little locking. You see this lever right over here? So it looks like we'll just slide that right down. So give me a second while I try to do that. I don't have someone to hold the phone for me. So I apologize if this isn't the, the greatest YouTube video, but like I said, I'm not a YouTube regular. This will actually be my very first video. So while I'm talking, I'll let you know I'm a fairly novice level uh, cigar enthusiast, um, just sort of jumped into it. I started out with the Acid Cuba Cuba 
um, mainly because it had a flavor to it and it was recommended to me and I did enjoy that. Um, and from there, I just started branching off into looking for other things and I've pretty much come to the conclusion that I'm a very big fan of the Drew Estate uh, lineup. So if you notice, I just got the uh, Water Tower base all locked in and I kind of did it with one hand while I was holding the phone trying to do the video for you. All right, so that's that. Now let's get to the actual tower itself. So I got a little small knife here. Hold on a second. Got a little small knife. I'm gonna try to puncture this plastic without hurting myself or damaging the humidor. All right. I got that handled. Plastic is pretty easy to get off. Like I said, I'm doing a lot of this one-handed, as you can see. And the quality of this, um, I mean, it's not extremely heavy. Uh, it does have 20 sticks inside, so you got the weight of that. And then the actual humidor itself can you hear that? It's a, it's a nice tin, um, you know, with a, a nickel finish up top. Something you'll dust off from time to time. So let's go ahead and give this a good rotation. So you can see that there. I'll go around for a second time. Acid cigars in the bottom there. Brooklyn. It's got the Brooklyn Bridge. Looks like he's got a Liga Pravada uh, cigar cutter in his hand there. And it's got an acid cigar in his mouth. That's kind of a purplish band. So uh, what would that be? The Croquetta maybe? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, guys. All right. There's a water tower up there in the background. All right, so let's get to the unveiling of the inside, the contents. Okay, so I'm pulling this off. And as you can see, the cigars there are housed inside the tin. And I don't know what this, uh, what is this, a sticker? Yeah, it looks like it's a sticker. So, you know, I don't know if you got a book or... You know, computer that you put a sticker on, whatever. You know, it's got a nice sticker of the exact same logo that's on the water tower. So I'm going to sit that right over there, prop that up. And inside, there are 20 Acid Cuba Art cigars. So, the Cuba Art cigar... Uh, has a double band on it. Um, the band, if you can see this part right here, that silver acid band, and then underneath, there's all of the graffiti. That's the second part that comes off. So this isn't the first time that I've seen this. I've actually smoked one of these once before uh, with a friend that got his in before me. Um, shout out Herb LeBray on that. Uh, so I actually owe him one of these sticks because I smoked one of his and, um, I'll conclude the video with a review of the actual cigar. So the cigar itself has a very, uh, light, sweet taste to it. So in a traditional acid fashion, the cigar is going to have a sweetened cap, but it's not a very strong sweet. It's, it's, it's a subtle, you know, the draw is really good. It's fantastic. You know, well-made cigar and the smoke output, you know, it's a good thick white smoke that you're going to release. And it's very, you know, aromatic. I believe that's the correct term for it. So, you know, very enjoyable. So it's got a, a, a light peppery, you know, you know, note that comes in at some point throughout and the sweetness of it, you know, uh, sort of fades away when, once you're into the second third of the stick. But overall, very good stick. This stick would take me anywhere from an hour and a half to an hour 40 minutes. 
So that concludes my review of the Drew Estate Cuba Art Cigar and the Water Tower. So the Water Tower is a humidor, so you get some of those little packets. And you can see right here, um, it comes with, uh, you know, one little uh, humidor packet right there. Uh, forgive me, I don't know the correct term. You know, I, I prefaced this video by telling you that I'm a rookie. Um, but uh, I believe you have to charge those every so often. Um, and there you go. You can you can house your 20 sticks inside. It's a little stiff there. I don't want to do any damage. Oh, it's stiff because there's there's a, a band. I don't know if you can see that little that little silver uh, uh, you know ribbon that was holding them together. So that's why it wasn't going directly in. Let me try reinserting this from the center without damaging it. And I'll put the top back on. It does have a nice seal. Uh, you can tell that it's airlocked. And underneath, we got these clips here to where you're gonna mount this. It looks like to these two silver things right here. So let's see. So there we go. I mean, it was really just that simple. One hand. Drew Estate, water tower. This is our New York accent. <laughs> That's what it says on the box right above the uh, Surgeon General's warning. Hope you enjoyed my video.